the CIS of speed exam was one of the hardest things I ever did. I spent over a year learning for it. So much content to go through. This isn't just the only book. There was other books online, PDFs, practice exam books, lots of blogs, articles, videos, and ultimately seen as a golden standard in cybersecurity. And in this video, I'm here to answer the question, was that all worth it? Now, from a knowledge gained perspective, I would say I do not regret taking the CISSP. It taught me so much about so many different areas of cybersecurity that I would have never looked into a mile wide and an inch deep. There was so much knowledge in these books and other books that once you've understood it, memorized some of it, practiced with some of it, like practically, so it kind of sinks in. That is just so valuable and it adds so much weight to what you're able to do as a cybersecurity professional and your knowledge and experience. So yeah, 100% from the knowledge perspective, I would say it was definitely worth it, especially for me early on in my career, as I'm not technically a CISSP, even though I have passed the exam, that's because I don't have the five-year experience requirement. As long as I continue to pay my annual maintenance fee and do my continual education, I should get it in the next one or two years. But anyway, knowledge perspective definitely helped out, made me a better cybersecurity consultant, made me a better professional. So yeah, I definitely think that it's something worth doing. Even if you're like 20 years in and you have a lot of experience in cybersecurity, I think just learning the kind of structure and order and prioritization of how the different areas can you know, cross over and relate to each other, the relationships that exist between different areas of cybersecurity is just something that the CISSP can give you. So yeah, 100% highly recommend it from the knowledge perspective. Now, another important thing for me was the kind of learning how to learn. I don't have a degree. I didn't go to university. I barely went to college. So learning how to learn was very important for me. You know, I had to actually learn how to absorb this much information and kind of able to recall it in a way that I needed to. I had to be productive and efficient and take good notes and, you know, not get distracted and have to actually study. You know, for someone like me, I had no idea how to learn going into this. Not to this level anyway. I learned a lot over my life, but not in this this kind of structured technical, non-technical, legal, networks, architecture, whatever. Like this stuff was just so brand new to me and just hurt my brain. And yeah, it took a long time to actually develop the focus before I was kind of successful in actually working my way through the CISSP content and passing the exam. So for me, that was probably one of the most valuable things I'll take away from the CISSP exam is it made me a better student, a better learner. And that's just something that I'll be used to pass other exams since then. And I know I'll use those learning skills in the future in terms of what people thought. So you could split this up into different categories other than me posting it on LinkedIn and making a video on YouTube about it, which might seem like I'm telling the whole world and I am to some degree at actual work. I don't talk about it. Like I, you know, I tell my director and that I might be coming for the exam and when it is, etc. But it's not something that I consistently bring up and everybody that I speak to, oh, by the way, I passed an exam at the weekend, etc. So... You know, there's a few people that knew that I passed when I did, and a few people that learned kind of later on. But to be fair, everyone's supportive. Congratulations, lots of love, which is what you'd expect, and it's really nice to see. So I think people start to see you as like a bit more credible, and they put a bit of respect on your name when it comes to cybersecurity. But not all the way. You know, you still have to prove yourself at work. It's not just passing exams. You know, you have to deliver on projects. You have to contribute to teams and add value, etc. In terms of clients. Again, I never really told any of my clients. I mean, there's one or two that I've probably close with. I might have mentioned it. And again, support, love, all of that. What I will say is that it made me a better cybersecurity consultant, you know, because I'm consulting on security matters, various projects. And there's a lot of stuff that gets brought up. And having the CISSP almost taught me like a new language or methodology and way in which I could speak about like the whole picture the whole IT vision and strategy and security mission and you know it's something that previously wasn't kind of front of mind as a security consultant normally it's like I'm hired to do a very specific project and this thing 
only, but after and even during the CISSP, I suddenly kind of got that management view of like, okay, so they're doing this because they need to get that done next year, and that means that that will be part of the roadmap for X, Y, and Z. And you start to see things that are overarching more mission value level. So yeah, made me a better professional, taught me a lot of the lingo and how to think and how to approach problems. And I think the people who are the direct recipients of my CISSP knowledge without knowing that I'd passed the exam benefited the most. And in terms of credibility and respect, you know, I think that was the biggest way before me is that people noticed that I had picked up some new terminology that I had learned some new things, that I had become better at certain things, and I'd helped them out with stuff that I didn't help them out with previously because I had knowledge in different areas. So yeah, I think there's a lot of respect given with an uh, indirect relationship with the CI to speak. So more as a result of you passing and gaining that knowledge. Lastly, yes, recruiters, hiring managers, and people have been kind of badgering me, to be honest. I don't even know how serious they are half the time. A lot of them just waste your time. They don't even know if you qualify for the job. They're just trying to get numbers for an interview, etc. Some come from internal, probably have more authority. Yeah, definitely a lot more attention in terms of like LinkedIn jobs, that kind of thing since passing the exam, which is obviously expected with something like the CISSP. I suspect that would be even more for people with more than five years. They're going to actually going to fly the flag of the CISSP without having to add a disclaimer how not technically certified yet and still an associate of ISC squared and all that malarkey. Overall, I do think it was worth it. I think it taught me a lot of knowledge about cybersecurity, which is fundamentally what it's there for, and has helped me tenfold in my job as a consultant. Personally as well, it was like very helpful for the learning how to learn, becoming more productive, being able to absorb and retain a much wider amount of information. And that's mainly due to my own research and kind of looking at things and how to be more productive. That's not directly coming from the CISSP books. Definitely credibility, respect from peers, from clients, direct and indirect, a bit more attention from recruiters and people looking to hire you and offer you opportunities. So that's a big plus there too. So one year later, yes, it was worth it. It was very hard, a lot of work, a lot of stress, a lot of early morning and late nights. But if you're chasing after the CISSP exam, these are just some other benefits you can look forward to. And I'm sure one of the biggest benefits that you'll probably get out of it is a lot more money or different opportunity. For me, I've not used the CISSP to kind of leverage a new opportunity or anything like that, but I'm sure I could if I tried. If you want more money in your career, if you want to become a better professional, if you want to gain more knowledge and learn how to become more productive and gain credibility and respect within the cybersecurity industry, the CISSP is definitely an exam you should go for. These are just my thoughts one year later. You know, maybe they might change five years, ten years down the line, and I'll be sure to update you guys, you know, after actually becoming officially certified as opposed to just past the exam. I'll be interested to see what's changed or what's different in this video. I suspect it's mainly going to be around having more credibility and respect because you've got a CISSP title without a disclaimer and uh, maybe from the job front you'll just be on like more opportunities higher salaries I don't know we'll see hope you've liked this video if you enjoyed it please show some love like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one